March 2022 certainly saw the resurgence of the lightweight. The cup for Wakataka Kage. A career best score for Enho. And, indeed, for the soaring Shizuokan Kingfisher, Midori Fuji. A year since claiming his hernia would never improve and was unworthy of operation, Midori built on his strong January finish with a pulling throw evoking better times, a cheeky face slap and wimble, and a rightward wriggle and thrust, taking his winning run to six. And unlike lightweight rival Enho, who fell on day four, Midori kept going. <laughs> Holding Daisho Madu in favoured stance before swinging from the right for a signature katasukashi, the first of four this time. He then tried the same move from the left without success. before blocking with right knee and spinning free from the throw with an outer leg trip in a remarkable passage of moves. But his finest ever start at salaried level was ruined by Yago, who he's yet to beat in three tries and who snuffs out throws by moving in close and diving at the edge. Somehow Midori shook that off to deliver a second Katasukashi next, against a man in good condition. And with winning momentum came extra luck. as a Tohakuryu pulling frenzy included a tug on hair, which an aggrieved Midori appealed to coach Oshima, who triggered the vital judge's decision. Midori's master must have been relieved. <laughs> Tohakuryu's colleague came next, with the baggage of three losses from their past four meetings. But alert to the throw he was, clamping hard with the right, pushing back with the left, keeping Midori straight and harmless till the final shove. Two bouts straight though, Midori would not lose.
Tsurugisho more accommodating than a five-star hotel underneath those limp arms. Eight wins became nine from a much-practiced routine. Azumadu the dress rehearsal. Oho the dumbstruck victim of Katasukashi number no. three. Which moved the Kingfisher past Oho and level with Ryuden for this joint leader showdown. It was the first time they'd fought, and Midori, convinced of lacking power, sought to tug and run, but only into Ryuden's right hand, which clung on throughout, then twisted when defensive throw came, sending Midori keeling. The loser sensed he'd just blown the title, but continued to press. Deflecting Kitano Waka with force, then catching him in a neck throw whirlpool for double figures. A fourth Katatsukashi then stopped Shimazu Umi's good run. Before Churano Umi was clinched to stillness. then made to Kaylee dance in an ending almost as zany as their winter exhibition. That should see Midori Fuji back to Division 1. It did see him fated last weekend in his hometown of Yaizu, which made him Kadode Railway Station Master for a day. Next stop, special prize, is his stated goal.